Dennis Ken Kratzer for Sons of the American Legion Radio. We're at the Association of the United States Army Conference in Washington, D.C. I have a chance to talk to Keith Flail from Bell Helicopter. Keith, great to see you. You've got a very impressive piece of equipment behind you. Maybe tell us about it. Oh, yes, this is the uh, V280 Valor. So this is our offering for the joint multi-role tech demonstrator effort. It's a science and technology effort led by the United States Army, a partnership with Bell Helicopter, 11 investing teammates, and the United States government uh, with the intent to reduce risk and inform requirements for the future vertical lift program. Uh, what that is is the replacement for the medium-class aircraft that are out there, Apaches, Blackhawks. Uh, so the opportunity here is to have an asset that has twice the speed twice the range of today's aircraft, which will completely change the operational reach that, uh, that is available to the United States Army, the Marine Corps, and the Special Operations Command. Very good. Now, it's interesting. We talked to some of the, uh, the pilots who come out of ROTC programs out of West Point. Um, can you service both the need of, of an Apache, which is an attack helicopter, and then also a Black Hawk, which is more of a kind of transportation vehicle in one, in one, uh, in one, new, in one new plane? Absolutely. One of the things we highlight is the multi-mission, multi-service capability that you get with the V280. Uh, if you come back on Wednesday, you'll actually see this full-scale model that's behind me uh, configured in an attack configuration where we actually take the seats out and we put a weapons pile on in there that actuates in and out of the aircraft. So what you can have is you can have one asset that can perform utility aircraft missions, carrying 11 to 14 passengers along with a crew of four, depending upon the seat size. It can be an attack aircraft and can also be a medevac aircraft. Very good. Now, maybe if you would, just tell us a little bit more about uh, some of the broad services that your company uh, provides to the U.S. military and perhaps to consumers. So at Bell Helicopter, we have a very uh, proud tradition over 80 years. Uh, so our, our legacy going back, uh, you know, pre, uh, pre-Vietnam, pre especially in when you look at Vietnam, and the Huey wasn't the first uh, helicopter that was out there, but the Huey coming mainstream in the Vietnam era really changed air mobile operations and air assault operations. Just like the V-22 that we make today with our partners at Boeing, is it, it, you know, this behind me, the V-280 Valor is not the first tilt rotor, but it has the opportunity to be that mainstream tilt rotor to replace all of those medium class aircraft that are out there. Uh, we also, we have a, a very, again, a very proud legacy of uh, military and commercial products at Bell Helicopter. Uh, right now, our Marine Corps customer with the uh, V-22, as well as for Air Force Special Operations Command, and soon the uh, carrier on board delivery for the Navy. Uh, the H-1 program with the H-1 Zulu Viper and the H-1 uh, Yankee Venom, 85% uh, commonality between those aircraft for the Marine Corps. Very similar to what we're talking about with the V-280 Valor, being able to have aircraft that are that common, so you save on parts, on logistical footprint, uh, maintenance personnel, all those things. Uh, so those are those are a couple of our products that we're incredibly proud of, and uh, with the, the legacy that we have at uh, Bell Helicopter, providing uh, incredible capabilities to our uh, warfighters over the years. Absolutely, I know. Especially when we go out to talk to our friends in the Navy on the on the tilt rotor planes, they like them because they fly higher and faster, which uh, helps them uh, provides that level of safety. Is that what you're building into the, this new craft? <clears throat> what you have with this aircraft is you have incredible acceleration and deceleration. So when you look at uh, typical air assault operations for the United States Army, when you're in a helicopter and you're coming into a landing zone, you know, that's one of the most vulnerable times for the asset. So to be able to come in you know, very, very quickly, you're going 280 knots, that's why it's called the V-280 Valor, that's the cruise airspeed of the aircraft, rapidly decelerate the aircraft, rock those pylons back, come in, land, troops get out, egress the aircraft, and the aircraft is gone in seconds, accelerating with altitude and airspeed uh, very quickly. So you maintain that element of surprise and you maintain that survivability because you get in and you get out. Hey, that's great. And Keith, if you would, just tell us a little bit about your career uh, working for Bell Helicopter and, and before that. Uh, I've been at Bell Helicopter a little more than five years. Uh, before that, I, I worked with uh, Lockheed Martin and prior to that, I had a career in the United States uh, Army. I was a pilot myself. I was a Kiowa Warrior pilot and also uh, served as a, a government PM uh, doing acquisition things on the uh, on the government side prior to uh, retiring a few years ago. Well, Keith Flail from Bell Helicopter, thank you for your service to our country and the United States Army. Great to hear about your new uh, new craft here. It looks looks terrific. Thank you, sir. Appreciate the opportunity. Our pleasure. This is Ken Kratzer for Sons of the American Legion Radio in Washington, D.C. at the Association of the U.S. Army Conference.